Now, what appears to be a crime of passion here in Kenya, police in the western county of Nyamira are holding a man who allegedly dismembered body parts of a woman believed to be his wife. Angry relatives of the woman stormed the home of the suspect and set ablaze five houses belonging to his family members. Whereabouts of the couple's four-year-old daughter are not known. Katie's Michelle Ngele now joins us live from our city centre studios in Nairobi. Michelle, what a bizarre story. What really happened? Eight-year-old Samuel Nyakwara is in police custody, alleged to have brutally killed his 40-year-old wife, Beatrice Masuka. Residents say that Beatrice went missing on Thursday. Her badly mutilated body parts that left residents reeling in shock were retrieved by police yesterday evening from a local stream in Kenya's Bonegubo village, Nyamira County. According to Nyamira County Police Commander Marungu Mondoy, the first discovery of the body parts was made on Saturday by children who were out on a swimming spree at Charachani River when they stumbled upon a foot severed at the ankle. There are body parts which have been found in the river. Initially we didn't know whether it was a female or a male. But uh, we just to, to learn later on that it is a female. But uh, we, can, we cannot even identify or it could not be identified because the body was totally dismembered. It took the police over four hours to collect the body parts. The whereabouts of the couple's four-year-old daughter are unknown. Locals lay fears that she may also have been killed and her body dumped at an unknown place. According to residents, the suspect had previously served three years in a rehabilitation center after he allegedly killed two of his daughters by poisoning them. Alikuja akaua kitambo kidogo hapo aliwanga watoto wake bibi akatoroka na juzi tena tumesikia ameua bibi ameweka kwa maji na bibi tu vile aliulizwa alisema si yeye na kaenda kuripoti kwa mogambi huko mogambi vile aliulizwa akakataa akatoroka kwa polisi ndio watu walienda kumfight huko polisi wakamuokoa alivanya mbaya tena alikuwa anapika anaua watoto wengine ya kwanza sasa hii ni ya pili hii alifanya mbaya there was tension at the village after angry relatives of the killed woman invaded the suspect's home and touched five houses belonging to his family members. A police vehicle was also partly destroyed as irate villagers pelted the law enforcers with stones as they drove into the village to silence the escalating chaos. The suspect managed to escape the wrath of the angry villagers paying for his blood and sought refuge at the Meruka administration police line. So far I've managed to quell the riot. Uh, what we are trying to do, we are trying to do is to, to do investigations. Although the suspect has been cited this morning and has been has been uh, apprehended, and they definitely appear before court. The police say they are treating the suspect as a first offender until records of his previous acts are confirmed. Michelle Ngele, KTN News.